Each computer language, C, C Sharp, Java, Pascal, Python, Ruby and so on, has its own syntax, its own grammar, just like a human language, though luckily for us, much simpler. Once you know one computer language, such as C or Java, it's much easier to learn another, such as Ruby or C Sharp, than it would be to learn another spoken language, such as French or German. That's because the syntaxes and grammars of human languages are much more complicated than the syntax and grammar of a programming language. I'm Hugh, and this is another lesson in my complete programming course. Today I'm going to talk about computer languages. There are lots of them, but why? Well, let's first clarify why computer languages are the way they are. That is, made up of words and symbols such as brackets and mathematical operators, when ultimately those languages have to be translated or compiled into machine code, which is like lots of very simple instructions that you can think of as being made up of ones and zeros. Put simply, nobody wants to write a program in ones and zeros. That might make sense to the computer hardware, but it doesn't make sense to us. We need to write at a higher level of abstraction. In a language such as Java, C Sharp or Python. But why are there so many languages? Well, partly that's just the way things happened. Different people created different languages and some languages like C have a very concise syntax Others, like Object Pascal, have a more verbose syntax, which, however, may sometimes be clearer and less ambiguous. And different programmers just happen to like different programming languages. But there's more than just a personal preference when choosing a programming language. Because each language also has its own strengths and weaknesses. C, for example, is a great language for writing efficient programs for everything from operating systems to programs that work with microcontrollers. But C doesn't go out of its way to protect the programmer from making errors that could easily crash a program. So while it's a very powerful language, C is not a good language for beginners. Java and C Sharp have a syntax that is similar to C and they can be used for writing a broad variety of general purpose programs, but they do much more than C to protect you from making accidental errors. Although each programming language has its own syntax, all the main modern programming languages share the same fundamental features. They use functions, variables, data types, conditional tests, loops, and so on. Now, in the first part of this course, I want to explain all these things, the elements of a computer program, which are common to just about all programming languages. And then later on, I'll also explain a few things that some languages have and others don't. Object orientation, for example, is the thing that both C Sharp and Java have, but C does not. In the next lesson, I'm going to explain data types. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the Code with Hugh channel and click the bell to get an email whenever I upload new lessons.